Alright, so last time uh, in the pause screen tutorial uh, we dealt with the options button. I didn't actually make any options, I just showed you how to make it like pop up and switch to current GUI. So click options and yeah, it changes to this. You can add stuff here and stuff like that. But yeah, so uh, what I'm gonna be doing today is finishing off this. Uh, this series for the pause screen, I might return to it later to do something else, but today I'm going to be uh, doing the exit to main menu and exit to desktop. So if we just open up our script, I'm gonna, let's see, copy over the function start. Alright, let's make exit uh, gain first whoops so just gonna rename the start to exit game and here application uh, dot quit I'm pretty sure and then open close brackets alright copy that over again and now exit the main menu. Now this one is actually a bit uh, longer because when you see like when we open up the pause screen we actually pause the game. So what we want to do is application dot load level. Now uh, my main level is called GY. That's the one I made like in a previous tutorial. Check that out if you want. Here you would put whatever your uh, scene name is. So I'm just gonna write GY and then uh, just copy over these lines. Make sure to not co copy over the screen that show cursor and lock cursor, but everything else you should copy. Actually. I'm pretty sure these two aren't needed either. So yeah, let's quickly just because we don't have a first person controller in our scene. So this should be all you need. Uh, the application dot load level GY plus canvas dot enable equals false. And probably not even this one, but I'm gonna leave it in for now. So I'm just gonna save this quickly. And let's see, exit to main. I'm using uh, the newest beta version of Unity so far. I don't know what it is. It's 4.621 or whatever is the newest one is. But yeah, drag the main object into here. Functions, let's just see. Okay, pause screen, there it is. Exit, which is one is this, exit to main. Okay, and exit to desktop. Whoops, missed it. This is exit game, yeah. Okay, so now if we run it, press escape, resume works, option works. So let's see, yeah, resume does work. Exit the main menu. You can see everything is going correctly. Now, if we start a game, we end up in a different level. But, uh, let me just show you if you didn't add this you actually don't need this line I just remembered if you didn't add the uh, time dot time scale line if you just left it at load level okay let's play this one real quick again exit to main you can see that the smoke in the background actually isn't moving and yeah, here you can't actually either walk when you start. So that's something you want to keep in. Scale by the time. And now the smoke is moving and everything. So yeah. Anyways, that would probably it be it for this series. Uh, something you should do actually is drag the pause canvas into your main object since the main object is where you're going to be putting everywhere actually wait 
control Z and yeah the main object is gonna be uh, where you put everything uh, it's gonna be the object that you put everywhere so why did it open up everything what you wanna do uh, before actually dragging it over make sure the canvas is visible because otherwise there's some glitches and let me just show you what happens well, like this oh they actually seem to be fixed before it used to be like if you drag something over while from the GUI while it wasn't showing it would just get really glitchy and yeah even if you enabled it it wouldn't still enable but yeah that doesn't seem to be a problem anymore so anyways guys thanks for watching and uh, that would be it for the pause screen series the next one is probably gonna be the, either a health system or a mini map depends which one I decide to make first but until then I'll see you guys bye